I was taken, but I definitely wanted that deal. Right. And, uh, was, was, that, that, was that the J Records deal? That was not the J Records it deal. It wasn't. It wasn't the J Records deal. It was actually um, their guaranteed meetings to meet all the presidents of all the companies. Mm -hmm. I met with Tommy Matola, I met with Head of Universal, I yes, met with everybody. Tommy, but it ended up funny it ended, as it is. I ended up sitting down with Clive Davis. And, um, you know, I don't think they wanted to sleep on it, you know, take advantage of the full, you know, the time that I was on the show and, you know, exploit it, <laughs> you know, basically. See, and, I, didn't, um, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I really well, a lot of people that. did. I, I, was, I wasn't really able to talk about it. I know because what I thought to myself at that time was if he's smart, he yeah. left because he won't be tied to American Idol, which so many artists are. And so many artists of the money that they're making now, other people don't realize how much they're giving it's back. It's, it's, it's a lot of conflict of interest. To, to in a sense. Idol. So, right. you know, again, it's a risk that you take and I did. And fortunately enough, I got the record deal that I wanted all my life that I was dreaming about. Right. So, I did. It was kind of surreal in how it went about. Even right. being but it took a while. It looked like, what, a year and a half later? Actually, all? yes, because uh, we were contractually bound not to promote or talk, and we got to let the winner, which was Carrie Underwood at the time, just do right. her thing. And, and win and kind yeah, of flourish. Yeah, exactly. And then when it came down to the next day, we released the uh, Associated Press in reference to me getting signed and, right. and all that great stuff. And what was it like working or meeting Clive? Because in this industry, yeah. me personally, there are two people that I would like to meet. I've met Tommy. Yes. Good people. Yes. Um, can be mean when it when he, when he needs to be. Funny story, Tommy. Yeah. So, but Clive Davis, I have not had the honor of meeting. I mean, this is a man who knows his stuff. Arif told him, we don't want you anymore. He's getting older, and he goes to J Records, yeah. and he comes with you. He comes with Alicia, and yeah. he's just like, whoa, this yeah. man ain't lost it. What was y'all thinking? It's the what hustle. It's the hustle. You know, it, that's a prime example of a, a major hustler in that company. Right. You know, you have to get yours. You make it what it is. And that's it. Plus, you know, he's has major history in music and he's one to be respected. Right. But um, yeah, it was definitely surreal. It was things that I've always dreamt about when I was younger and for it to be happening it felt, it felt right. right, you know? Okay. And uh, go ahead, look. Well, no, it felt right and I just, you know, I had the opportunity to record a great album and um, had a great single off of it and, you know, I still ride with that. Absolutely. But now, well. Was that the first person you would see yourself working with? Did you have like, with Clive? Any hopes of working with a particular person? Well, the big cats, you know? Clive, Such especially as? being number one, you know, Tommy Matola, that uh -huh. would be great as well. Um, just, you know what, really not so much of the, uh, just a lot of artists that I, that I respect. In reference yeah. to like with Alicia, to be label mates with them as well, like Alicia right. Keys Absolutely. and all those young people. It felt great to be in that realm, yeah, but yeah, exactly, so. Now the album? Yes. To me, to yeah, me. I I grew up with real hip hop and R&B. Oh, All right, not rap. Okay, the way like I said, I did too. I the did album too. itself, well, I can tell because the way you sing. Oh, right. see, because Latinos always have a distinctive voice. They just do, oh, like right. especially the Latina women. <laughs> they have this distinctive voice. You can say, oh, she's Latina. Can you hear him sing? Yeah, Lisa, Lisa had it. all these Latinas. They just have it. They can't get out of that out of that sound. There's something about it that just What's sounds that like sound? What's that sound? It's you can hear it when yeah, they sing. It. It's it's not it's not Can you do it? Your voice <laughs> I want to know you what are, the sound is. I can't define it. It's just the sound when you sing hear a little, it. Sing a little clip from no, Gabby. He's, he's above he's above that. You because you I mean you go know, for the difference. You go, know, yeah give me a little acapella. The ask, the fans are asking for a live clip by the way so it's gonna happen oh, either way. Get there, so yeah, we're gonna get on Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait <laughs> Tell me is the money worth your soul? Tell me what's the reason that you hold on when you know that through has the whole world of them just like you. Yeah, girl, you just way too fine. Gotta be treated as one of a kind. Girl, use your mind. Don't be just another dime. I can't hit that note, Dad. That's just the bottom line. The boy can sing. I know. Sing. That's the difference. Like you, you got Latinos out there who can sing, but like Frankie J is a um, different ah, vibe. Ah, Frankie J. I love Frankie he, J. He, he sings differently. Like he doesn't hit the. I guess he could, but that, listen, everybody's you're different. Ready, right? Everybody's it's different. different. We're Latino. That brings us together. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got, uh, like he's. I grew up in New York. He grew up. Uh, where did he grow? Texas, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a different. It's a different little. Right. Right. Like cultural differences in a sense, but still the same. You know. So the album is a classic. 
in my opinion. Thanks. It's a classic. One Shot is it. an incredible song. Yeah, Les Tremendous produced that. That was uh, hot. In incredible song. Yeah. Um, what, what is your favorite song on the album? You know what? I don't got a favorite. I definitely, I just, I don't have a favorite. I just really loved how we worked on the album, the people that we're working with. Like, these are just giant hit makers and just the opportunity to learn from them and, you know, do that, do my thing on top right. of that. Yeah, that was great. So The experience know. must be amazing. I can't really imagine how it feels to get that far that quickly. Well, it's I've, a pretty quick journey to. It, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's a journey. It's a roller coaster, in other words. But, uh, uh -huh. you know, it's... Um, it was amazing. It was amazing. I learned so much, especially on like recording and just how how people, how their different work styles, you know, how they come up with an idea. And it was amazing. That's how I could put it. Now, uh, yeah. Tony, making yeah. his little face right now. I'm wondering uh, 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 if Tony was asking a certain question because of what the general population feels. Yes. About why you left American Idol. Well, general meaning like what in particular? The general way? population of people on the internet who are basically using viral videos and yeah. all their basically bochinche yeah, to get yeah, by yeah. and see why you left. Well, listen, everybody's going to say it's, it's what it's about. If you ain't ready for that, then get out of right. the industry. No, you know but what I, mean? I read what I need to read in your bio, everything about you. Yeah. And as I was coming through, I saw a statement that you made that basically said, like, despite what anybody feels, it was a personal family reason, yeah, et yeah, cetera. Yeah. I don't want to be, you know, a number. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to lose my talent that I worked hard on yeah. from 13 years old and up to then be told what to do and act a certain way. Absolutely. So that's the way I see it. And yeah. I take that because it came out of the horse's mouth. Absolutely, right? absolutely. That was so one now, of the very first, very first interviews right after I got yeah. off the show. And do you mind if I bring up what the rumor was? No, not at all. With your permission? Absolutely. Do you know what the rumor was? I, I, I don't. <laughs> Basically, there was an allegation, allegedly, I use that word, allegedly, that you had relations with Paula Abdul. And that that was why. <laughs> now, Paula Abdul, just because she's whoever she is, a lot of people throw dirt on her and throw her under the bus, you know. I don't feel that was the reason that you left. No, no, I had actually... But how do you feel about that rumor? Um, hey, whatever. Fallout do, isn't it? It's so good. It works. Okay. It's all good. It's so good. It's that. You gotta take it like a grain of salt with this. Again, if people will always like, like their like opinions, that. you know? Like yeah. And it is what it is, you know? You right. move on. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Definitely. I like and that. It's, it's the truth. And that's why I just love what I do so much. It doesn't matter what, what all happens. I just continue to do what I do. And it makes me happy to sing and write and perform and entertain and you right. know, change people's minds and vibes and, you know. I think you've come is. a long way. I mean, from then to now. It's a hustle. I don't even watch don't American Idol like that. Don't get it twisted. It definitely is a hustle. We, we're, we're talking about then. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a music break and then talk we're going to talk now. about now. Yes. Definitely. All right? Because yes, I, I want to know about now, and I want to know about Michael Jackson, because I, yeah, I saw yeah, the course. pictures. We got a lot of talking to do. I, 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 know I, not I said there were two people, two people in this world, well, there's like two or three people in this world, that if I met, I, I probably wouldn't know what to say if I shook their hand. Yeah. You right. know, because yeah. you admire them so much. It ain't because Absolutely. you're starstruck. I don't get starstruck. I've been like that my whole life, which is why I can do radio, host the stages that I host. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just like, hey, you know, I don't know. I just never been. That's yeah. why I'm probably good at what do I, I do. Do I have time to ask him two questions from no, the No, no. We're gonna go to music break, <laughs> and we're gonna come right back. Boom! Take it away. This is the Scene right. of the Corner Radio Show live on Urban Latino Radio. We are live with yeah. Mario Vasquez. Here we go, yo. Let's go. Two out of fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this cat is good too, Bruno. Huh? Bruno and Bob. Bob and Bruno. This song. Yeah. Oh, that's the song. Yeah, my boy Philip. We actually Philip is the guy. Who Co-produced it with Bruno upstairs. No, we oh worked, yeah? No, not upstairs. But Philip and I we worked on some other demo stuff. Uh -huh. so, yeah. oh, I like that kid a lot though. It's good. You're live on the cameras, by the way. No, wait, right there. <laughs> I can see you. So I'm waiting to hear the rubber shit. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I saw the photo of the mic, so I was like, damn. Yo, they 